Hey guys, good to see everybody today. Toby Baptiste here, founder with Renegade Performance Fuels and Lubricants. As you saw last week, we promised you that we were going to bring you guys some educational videos from our staff. We want to make sure you guys know that we are the racing fuel and lubricants company that does more than just uh, sell products. We're here to be with you during this time as everybody's uh, probably getting cabin fever right now. Today we're going to talk about methanol, what makes Renegade Performance Methanol different and unique. First thing we want to do is we want to bust the first myth of all methanols are the same. That's just not true. From a manufacturing standpoint, when they're manufacturing, that could be true. But when they get to the end user, you the racer, they could go through many, many different steps. So when you talk about certificate of analysis, one common thing we get all the time is, well, this methanol is 99.5 or 99.9% .9 pure. I've got a C of A that verifies it. Well, there's this thing called real-time C of A's and copied C of A's. See, if you have four or five manufacturers and they have a copy of a C of A, that copy of C of A might go through four touches on that product. When that product's gone through three or four touches, it's changed. Uh, I'll give you an example. If you have methanol that's made at the manufacturing plant, and then it gets loaded onto a rail car that's not a dedicated rail car for methanol, or then it gets loaded from a rail car to a transport truck that was used in the chemical industry, or it's ran through lines to a tank that had byproducts that are compatible with methanol, but are not virgin dedicated lines for that methanol, then the time it gets in that drum, you might have a copy of a C of A, but it's not what we call a real-time certificate of analysis, okay? So you wanna be real careful there. Here at Renegade Performance Fuels, we have dedicated uh, containers, dedicated shipping abilities from when it comes to our plant and it goes through our special, it's type, type, like a type of osmosis filtration process, uh, it, it gets into the drum and therefore that's why you see our drum label show the purity. Now, let's go into purity. When you talk about or hear a methanol where they say it's, well, my methanol is 99% pure too. That's really talking about from a moisture standpoint, okay? So you can have three different types of methanol and they're all 99 point something percent pure from a moisture standpoint. But that does not mean that they're pure from other contaminants in that methanol. You know, it could be byproducts like toluene or xylene or IPA or residuals of ethanol from a, an existing pipe. It, it could have more than just moisture in there. So here at Renegade Performance Fuels and Lubricants, when you get a drum of our methanol, you will, say, you will see that it's 100% pure. And you will see on that drum label that there's a minimum underneath that. And so what we do, if you look at water today, okay, you can get regular water out of the tap, you can get water that's uh, gone through an osmosis or a purification process. So what we do is we bring our methanol and, and it goes through a filtration, special filtration type process, type osmosis, if you want to compare it, type deal uh, when, when it goes into our drums. Therefore, when you get the product, you're getting it extra dry, you're getting it extra pure, and it's coming in on dedicated sources from the rail car to the transport uh, to the piping. It is 100% legitimate uh, uh, product that is comparable to that C of A when it's first made, okay? Now, what I want to get into now is the next step of methanol, okay? Methanol makes more power. It has a sporadic burn though, okay? So most methanols out there have a sporadic burn, kind of like that, or like that. And, and what happens is that's why you see a lot of methanol that gets into your oil, okay? Well, what happens when you get a sporadic burn and it, it, it gets past the rings uh, in the cylinder wall, that's like, that's like contaminating the blood in our bodies, okay? Because your oil is the lifeblood to your race engine. And when you get more methanol into that oil, you are, that, that oil is no longer pure running through your race motor. That creates problems. 
So with our methanol, we do have an additive that's in there. It's proprietary. It's what we hang our hat on. We are a firm believer that no one else in the industry is using this additive. And it causes the methanol to kind of burn more in a tornado or a consistent ratio. And go talk to people that use our methanol. They will tell you we have less milkshake, less methanol in our oil. Well, when you have less methanol in your oil, guess what? You are protecting your motor parts even better, okay? Now, we've also had the question come to our dealers and like, hey man, uh, I can get this chemical grade methanol for $50 less a drum, just throwing that number out there. And what I wanna do today is I got this board and I wanna talk to you guys the difference between cost savings and cost value, okay? So um, right here, there's 10 drums. Let's say there's a racer out there that uses 10 drums. They save $50 on a drum, okay? That's $500. When you talk to people that use our methanol, they will tell you they've been able to tear their motors down, not have to do another home job, use the same pistons and just do a ring change. But when you use the cheaper methanol that's not pure, let me tell you what else can happen. We also have racers, and we'll put this on our site, that they'll tell you they've gone on several years without an engine uh, rebuild. And what happens is, because of that sporadic burn and the, the contaminants in the methanol, you have increased leakage in your cylinders. A lot of our customers will tell you that our motors and our leak down testing is phenomenal uh, through a whole race season. But if, you're, if your cylinders start going from leaking down to 9, 10% to 30 to 40% because of methanol, well guess what, now you gotta get new rings. New rings is $250. Then you might have to do another home job, that's 275. Then, you know, bad methanol is hard on valve guides. Valve guides is $220. Then bad methanol is bad on roller bearings. So it could eat up your roller bearings on your rockers or your lifters. You know, if you get a good set of rockers and lifters, it could be $1,000 for the rockers, $1,000 for the lifters. So say it's $2,000. On the low side, it's $1,500. Then an engine assembly, that's $1,500. Look at this, lost races, okay? Do, you might not be able to see this, but this is, I've got uh, written here, white worming. And what happens is, They'll be in a semifinal or quarterfinal round of a, of a big $10,000 bracket race, get a little white warming in there, throws their dial in off. Or, you know, you get white warming effect in a round track application or a road course application, and the fuel uh, is not there. And guess what? You damage pistons. So I don't even have pistons on here, and you know pistons, we all know what a good set of pistons cost, right? So you have this unknown here of lost races, okay? So there's a potential cost there. So the potential cost of, of having cheap methanol or chemical grade methanol, even if it's, hey, it's 99% pure from a water standpoint, and we're trying to educate you to, today that that's not the only critical factor there, is right here, $4,245, not counting potential lost races all over trying to save $50 a drum, which equals up to $500 a year. So um, when you look at this, this is cost savings. This is cost value. And what we want to promote here at Renegade Performance Fuels and Lubricants is cost value. We want you to win races. We want your motors to live longer. And we want you to be consistent. And we want your tune-up to be consistent. And so how we'll close it here is it's very similar to going and getting water out of a pond that's got PCBs in it and putting it in your body. Would you do that? I wouldn't do that. But I'd rather put something like this that's been purified, that's clean, and put it in my body. Same principle with racing. You know, if you're gonna have $100,000 tied up in your, your race car, think about how expensive your race car is, your motor is, going to the races, the travel, all that stuff. I tell you what, Cost value is where it's at, and cost value is where it needs to be because you have a significant uh, investment. You also have significant time, which is value, and we want to make sure we're a good steward of that value. So know this, when you use Renegade Performance Methanol, you're getting the cleanest, purest, with an additive in there that helps protect your oil and your motor. It's going to help your motors live longer, and it's going to put you in a winner circle, and that's what Renegade Performance Fuels and Lubricants does for you. Hope you've enjoyed this tech session on methanol. If you have any questions, shoot us an email or shoot us a Facebook message, and our team will get back to you just as soon as possible. We appreciate you always. We cannot wait to get back to racing again. You guys take care, and God bless.